हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल माय सेल्फ पराग दामुलकर अप टिल नाउ वी हैव सीन हाउ टू क्रिएट कस्टम ऐप इन सेल्फोर्स डेवलपर और आल्सो वी हैव सीन हाउ टू क्रिएट कस्टम ऑब्जेक्ट इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी व्हाट डू मीन बाय एसओक्यूएल एंड हाउ टू इंप्लीमेंट एसओक्यूएल इन सेल्फोर्स डेवलपर और सो व्हाट डू मीन बाय एसओक्यूएल एसओक्यूएल स्टैंड्स फॉर सेल्फोर्स ऑब्जेक्ट क्वेरी लैंग्वेज इट इज जस्ट सिमिलर टू एसक्यूएल एसक्यूएल स्टैंड्स फॉर स्ट्रक्चर्ड क्वेरी लैंग्वेज If you are from computer engineering background, you might be knowing SQL. SQL, which is structured query language, SQL is used to perform some operations on database tables. For example, fetching data from the database table, or inserting data into the database table, updating data from the database table, or deleting data from the database table. So, likewise, we can perform operations on database tables by using SQL. Just similar to SQL, we have SQL in Salesforce. SQL that is Salesforce object query language. It is used to perform some operations on Salesforce object. Operations like fetching data, inserting data, deleting data, updating data. Likewise, SQL syntax are just similar to SQL that we use to perform operations on database. In this video, we will see how to implement SQL queries in Salesforce Developer or. So see here. We have opened login.salesforce.com in our browser. Here we will enter our username, password, login. Remind me later. Okay, so this is Salesforce Classic. We can also switch to Lightning Experience. So see, here we will click on Developer Console. Okay, so developer console got opened. Now see here on the top there are menus, right? Now see we will click on file. Then here we have sub menu open resource. So we will click on open resource. Okay. Now see here it is showing all the objects, right? Now see I want to perform operations on student table, a student object. So what I can do here I will search student. Now see here I got it. Student underscore underscore c dot obj. See here there are two times underscore. Student underscore underscore c dot obj. This underscore underscore c means it is a custom object. For standard object there will not be underscore underscore c, but for custom object there will be underscore underscore c. Okay, so we will choose student underscore underscore c dot obj. This is custom table and we have created it. Okay, so we have selected this and we'll click on open. Okay, so see, we got this. Here, by using control button, we will select some fields. See, so I have pressed control button, and suppose I want data from this field: ID, name, roll number, department, contact, college. Okay, so it's our choice. So by pressing control button, I have selected multiple fields. Now see, here we have one button with the name query. So we will click on button query. Okay, so when we are clicking on this button query, we got this query editor, right? This query editor is getting opened, and automatically we got this query. We have not written this query just by selecting this field. We got this query, right? Now, see, to execute this query, there is one button with the name execute. So we have to click on this button execute. So we'll click here. See, we got this result, right? So. This is the select query, and by this we got this result. So see, what is there in this query? Select is a keyword. ID, name, roll number, department, contact, college. These are the field names. So here you can see name, roll number, department, contact, college. These are the field names. But here you will see it is roll underscore number underscore underscore c, department underscore underscore c, contact underscore underscore c, college underscore underscore c. These are not the field labels. These are the field names. Afterwards, we'll see how to get these field names. Okay, so these are the field names. Then again, we have one more keyword form, and after that, we have this object name, right? Actually, it is the API name. So again, we'll see. See, it, this is not just student. Here, it is written student underscore underscore c. This is API name for object student. Again, we will see how to get this API name for this object student. Now see. This is Salesforce Developer Org. Now, what we will do? We will move to Lightning Experience. Here it is link. Switch to Lightning Experience. We will click on this link. Okay. 
okay so we got cell force lightning experience here on the top there is gear icon and if we click on this here we are getting setup link click on this setup now see here we got this object manager right object manager click on object manager here we can see all the objects those are available in our org here some objects are standard and some objects are custom standard object in the sense objects those are provided by salesforce and custom object in the sense objects those are created by us those are called as a custom object so here you can see account is a standard object and this is the api name see account that is a label of object account is in api name and it is a standard object if we scroll down so here you can see college it is custom object and what is api name college underscore underscore c right college underscore underscore c this is the api name now see here we have to mention api name this is not a object label this is the api name here you can see this is the api name we don't have to mention label we have to mention api name right we have to mention api name of object now see we want to search data from the student object right so here in quick find we will search student okay so see here we got two results one is student and another is student teacher so student is label but what is api name student underscore underscore c and that's why here we have to mention student underscore underscore c now see i am clicking on this and why there is a underscore underscore c because it is a custom object for standard object there will not be underscore underscore c but for custom object compulsorily there will be underscore underscore c so this is the api name for our object student right now see we want fields so here on left hand side we have one link field and relationship so we'll click on this okay so here we got this field labels all the field labels and here we have field name so in query we have to mention field name so see this id name roll number department contact college all these are the field name all these are the field names right now see if you compare field label and field name so see why there is underscore underscore c because it is a custom field that's why we have underscore underscore c now see here there is not underscore underscore c because this is a standard field now see one more thing you will observe in field label we have space here you can see created space by but in field name we don't have space see created without any space by without any space id right so in field name we don't have space but in field label there can be space and for custom field we have underscore underscore c at the end right so in our soql query we have to mention these field names right now see again i will tell from where you can get this query data so see we have to open developer console from where you can get developer console so here this is salesforce lightning right here on gear icon you have to click and here you can find developer console and in salesforce classic you can find developer console here this is username right so if you click on this here you can find developer console so in salesforce classic this is username and here you can find developer console in salesforce lightning on gear icon if you click so here you can find developer console so you have to open the developer console then there are menus we have to click on menu file and here open resource so we have to click on open resource here you can search object on which you want to perform operation so here i have written student so i got this student underscore underscore c dot obj we have to click on open okay we have to select this by pressing control button then we have to click on query so by this it will open query editor so this is the query that we got and to execute this query we have to click on button execute and here we are getting this results right we are getting these rows or records now see if we want to change this query so we can do this now see suppose i want results with roll number 32 only so what i can do here in this select query i can add where where is keyword roll number this this thing where roll underscore number underscore underscore c is equal to 32 
here I have written where roll underscore number underscore underscore c is equal to 32 means where roll number is 32 I want that result only so see that change I have done then we have to click on execute so see I got result with row number 32. Now see suppose I want result from the department C only. So what I can do? I can change here. So see. So here I can mention department underscore underscore C is equal to. Now see this is text or string. Right. So string or text we have to mention in single code. So see in single code I am writing C. Right. Now see I will click on execute. So here we got this result, right? Suppose we want result from ENTC. So we can do this. ENTC, I will click on execute. So see, we got result from the ENTC department, right? So whenever it is a string, so we have to mention in a single code. For number, we have to write without single code. And this query is case insensitive. What is the meaning of this? See, suppose here, instead of this capital N, suppose if I write small n. Now I am clicking on execute. So see same result I am getting right here department underscore underscore C. So instead of capital D suppose if I write small d again I am clicking on execute button. So again same result I am getting right. So this query is case insensitive means capital and small letters they have the same meaning. So in this way we can execute any SQL query in Salesforce developer or. So in this video we have seen how to fetch data for SQL object by using select query right so we have to use this syntax select that is keyword and it is not compulsory to write in capital letters if you want you can write in small letter also these are the field names like this then we have to use one more keyword form and this is the object name or api name of that object so this select query will give all the records from that object if you want selected records in that case we have to mention where in your select query like this so see this is your select query and here we have to mention this where keyword and here you can mention some condition so suppose i want this field name should be something right so likewise we have to mention there if this value is text then we have to mention in single code if this value is number then we have to write without single code in next video we will see how to use keywords and or in our select query so friends, I hope you like this video. If it is, then click on like, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video. So stay connected. Thank you.